one of the greatest and strongest fortresses in the center of Iran, which was built by clay and bricks in a one hectare area. This is called the Brick Fortress, which was built 800 years ago on the east border of Nushabad to protect the city and its people against any foreign attack. Walls with five meters thickness and nine towers around the fortress with brave soldiers in them were all there to protect people's valuables and their families. But of course, people of this region were smart enough to think about other means of protection. And here comes the secret of Nushabat. One of the magnificent things in Iran, and specifically in Nushabat, is this underground city, which was built 1,500 years ago during the Sassanid Empire. Let's go check it out. The underground city of Nushabad, or Oi, is considered one of the masterpieces of ancient architecture.
زمینی که الان برای ایجاد مترو یا سازه های زیرزمینی الان احداث میشه اون زمان ایرانیان تو نوشابات سند داریم این مجموعه که بوده واقعا دقیق هم بوده با محاسبات ریاضی دقیق با امکانات پیشرفته یعنی این نبوده که ایرانیان در مقابل حجم دشمن تسلیم بشن یا در زمینگیر بشن این سازای پناکای زیرزمینی گوشه یکی از راه های جاده ابریشم تجاری نشون میده که قدرت ایرانی خیلی بالا بوده تسلط چون برای دفاع و برای پناه دادن و برای جلوگیری از حمله حجوم ناگهانی دشمن خیلی بالا بوده از قبل برنامه The ancient underground city of Nashabad in Iran is considered by scholars as one of the greatest masterpieces of ancient engineering. Somehow, thousands of years ago, ancient cultures dug 18 meters into the earth and created a sophisticated city beneath the surface, featuring extensive corridors, chambers, and tunnels, where people could live for extended periods of time. Considered one of the greatest masterpieces of ancient engineering and architecture, The underground city of Naushabad, also referred to as Uy, is located in a region in the middle of the desert of Iran, where harsh weather is nothing out of the ordinary. Temperature fluctuations are normal at Naushabad. During the day people must survive scorching temperatures, during the night, it gets freezing. The city is located in Isfahan, a province of central Iran. This subterranean masterpiece is famous for its remarkable complex of underground tunnels and chambers which take researchers and tourists through a trip in time, to the Sassanian period. Why built an underground city thousands of years ago? There are three levels in this underground city and these levels were cleverly planned in a way that going to the different levels required moving from down to up. Researchers have proposed several theories ranging from extreme heat to wars, and even extremely high levels of radiation and contamination in ancient times. Nushabad, which translates to the city of tasty cold water, was built after a Sassanian king who passed through this area stopped to drink water from a well. After drinking, he found that the water from the well was extremely clear and cold, thus ordering a city to be built around the well which he named Nushabad, which later turned into Nushabad. But why was this city built? Did its ancient inhabitants really gone through all that trouble to escape from harsh weather? Why did they not migrate elsewhere if they found the weather to be too extreme? It doesn't really make sense that an ancient culture would have gone through so much trouble, and create a complex underground city just to escape from harsh temperatures. شهر تلمبار نمی کردن خاک ها می آوردن بیرون باش امارت های بزرگ حکومتی یا دیوار های دجه نظامی ایجاد می کردن که قریبه متوجه نشه که این زیر تو طول مثلا پروژه سی ساله بیس ساله که کسی متوجه نشه که دارن این زیر از زمین چی کار می کنن Other theories suggest that the ancient inhabitants of the city created this underground city because in the distant past the region was extremely insecure which is why its inhabitants decided to dig into the earth and develop massive tunnels and chambers that would provide shelter in times of need. This why, while hiding underground, its inhabitants could literally move across the city without being seen from the surface. The city was extremely well built. This made it easier for the people sheltering in the underground city to prevent enemies from getting to the upper levels. This hole goes down four meters to another level of the city, which was used for people getting in and getting out, also for air circulation. Another interesting feature of this architecture is the curvy passages that made it possible for the inhabitants to ambush enemies. This is where they were hiding when they were attacking enemies. 
Furthermore, there were several other tricks that were used to resist against the enemies. Everything in this underground city was built to protect people. As you can see, I'm hiding down here. So if the enemy was coming to the room and looking for me and touching the walls and it's dark, so he can't find me and I can easily escape through this hole. People could live in the underground passages and room for several days without the need of going outside. And its builders planned everything perfectly. The underground city even features a series of ventilation shafts that offer its inhabitants fresh air if they decide to remain for prolonged periods of time underground. The fresh water springs would offer them fresh water, and according to researchers, there is evidence of chambers located beneath the surface where the inhabitants of the underground city kept food. Archaeologists researching the ancient city have found a series of complex tunnels and corridors in the city as well as extensive cavities dug into the walls which served as benches and beds for its people. This means the underground city of Nushabad was extraordinarily well planned and offered its inhabitants protection from the outside world in times of need. The depth of the underground city varies from 4 to 18 meters. Until this day, archaeologists cannot agree unanimously as to why or who built this ancient city. One of the most accepted theories suggests that its builders created the underground city in order to escape from the war. The Sassanids were the last classical period of the region, and it was a very influential reign, rival of the Romans. The empire experienced numerous wars. یک پلانه نشون دادن که خاک شناسن، زمین شناسن، مهندس کشاورزی هن و واقعا از لحاظ فنی و مهندسی هوش زکابت بالایی دارن بر همه خاطر حفره هایی که داخل این خاک هستش نشون دهنده اینه که یک زمانی ریشه درخت تا بیس متر اون زمین می اومده پایین سوراخ خشک می شده، موریانه می خورده و همین باعث می شده اکسیژن هوا وارد بشه، دی اکسید کربون خارج بشه 632-651, lost against the Islamic invasion after a massive conflict that lasted for 14 years. It would not come as a surprise that many people looked for protection underground during times of war, and the underground city of Nushabad offer unprecedented protection. Most of the entrances to the underground city are extremely small, which means that invading armies would have had an extremely hard time to enter the city by surprise. However, if we put aside the theory of wars and extreme temperatures, as the reason the ancient city was built, a more controversial one suggests that in ancient times, people sought shelter after nuclear explosions shook the region. Due to the fact that this isn't the only underground city in existence, many authors and followers of the ancient astronaut theory have hypothesized that ancient people built numerous underground cities in order to escape from nuclear war which beings, misinterpreted as gods, brought upon the human race. There are theories which suggest that in Mohenjo-daro, in western Pakistan, evidence of a nuclear explosion that occurred thousands of years ago was found by experts, which has led many authors and researchers to propose that prehistoric civilizations existed on Earth before written history and possessed more advanced technologies than we could ever imagine. The ancient city of Mohenjo-daro was destroyed, and high levels of radiation were allegedly found among its ruins. The buildings melted due to heat that surpassed 1,500 degrees Celsius. This is why many authors argue that the ancient cities we see across the globe are the result of ancient cultures escaping extremely violent events that struck our planet thousands of years ago. This is kitchen area, and down here there was an oven and a chimney which is connected to other people's houses. And uh, the reason was actually the smoke was sucking out through other people's chimney up there. So nobody realized that people are living down here or cooking or doing anything. Nowadays, people of Nushabad don't need to live in the underground city or shelter in the fortress. They live in peace and remember the old days with all secrets and mysteries. Shahriar Azimi for Iran.